Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Thought. Today I'm going to be talking about the R Markdown package in R and how to use it. Uh, the R Markdown is simply a package which allows you to write reproducible dynamic reports uh, with R. So say for example you're conducting an analysis and you're trying to report your findings to your team or to your manager some, or something like that. Uh, with R Markdown you, you're simply able to create uh, or show your findings in slideshows and PDFs as HTML documents, uh, Word files, or in any other way in which you want to create your reports. Um, to start out, um, this tutorial assumes you've got basic understanding of how to use the R uh, um, language, so it's not a, an introductory uh, lesson to using R. So to create an R Markdown report, if we click on file and we see new file, click on R Markdown and you should get this dialog. And for those who have not used R Markdown before, when you um, click on file and say new file and click on R Markdown, it might come up with a Dropbox which says install uh, update on R Markdown. And when you click on yes to install the updates, if it still doesn't work, uh, what you could do is just go to install on the package tab there and type in our markdown our markdown and when you do that click on it should show the drop box and you click on install and you should install the our markdown package and its dependencies right to start out again let's go back and click file new file and we will create an our markdown uh, reports let's call this report um uh, my first our markdown reports at auto we can call it express tot and let's uh, create a default format of an html you can create html pdf word whichever format you are looking for if i click on ok and that should um create this for us um so as you can see you've got a title here my first R markdown report auto this day this the output format is html underscore document uh, if you want other formats you can change this i'll show you later on so to see what this sample report looks like if i click on its html uh, it will probably prompt us to save this uh, file first so i'm going to call this um uh, first R markdown, R markdown, and that saves it. And it should um, open a new um, window with um, what it looks like. So, title here, my first R markdown is what you see here. Auto, express that there. Uh, date, you see the dates and different stuff. So, this is what the R markdown file. Uh, will look like you can decide to open this in the browser or just look at it in your window here if i close that every time um, you click on the knit html uh, button there and um, the r markdown log window should open showing you uh, the progress of how it processed the file so if that window does not open you should come here look at what the error might be correct it and yeah you might be able to proceed uh, say for example we want to create a word document if i come in here and type word underscore document if i say need html uh, this should create a word file uh, for us so this is what the word file looks like and you can simply submit that to your a manager or probably teammates i can close that and return back here so let's begin freshly afresh uh, let's clear everything in this document i'll clean everything here and let, let's start writing from scratch so uh, let's call these are uh, my first r map now documents if i click on new word again on its, so it needs HTML this time. Um, so you see my first R markdown. Fine. Now, the next thing you need to learn is say, for example, um, we want to write 
well, execute a command if I can't press enter. And there is this button here called insert a new code. Any code or command you're running uh, must be in between um, these um, three hyphens, uh, open bracket, arrow, bracket, and this thing. So let's write um, a new command. Now, it's like writing R normally, you know, I can say variable uh, one is equal to. Um, Let's say my name is express dot. If I come here, I can say that one. If I click on new HTML, I should say that one is this, and I return that one, which outputted my name is express dot. So this is the command we um, typed. And this is the res the results um, from executing this command. I'm going to close this now. Um, when you want to use um, packages like um, dplyr, ggplot, and other modules or packages, you've got to enable them because this um, file has no idea those um, packages are loaded. So to do that, I'm going to just clear this and I would say something like load library. I want to load the library ggplot2 and load library um, stringer. And I will load library tplyr. So if I execute this now, It should tell us loaded all these libraries. Yeah, fine. Close that again. Now let's um create something simple. Uh, let's say we want to work with this uh, data which I've imported called primary result. I got this from Kaggle. You can use any file to follow along. So I want to import this. If I go back into my console, when I imported that file, I can copy this. Primary result because this file has no idea that that data frame exists or has been imported. So I'm going to click on that and that should import that. Now, the next thing I might want to do is say, for example, I want to see a summary of all what's inside that. So I'm going to type um, here as a summary. of the US primary results 2016 and I will insert a new chunk of code and this time I'm going to come in here and say summary I'm passing primary results if I say neat HTML And now what you see is a, a summary of um, the primary results. So if you can see state, state abbreviation, county, FIPS, party, candidates, and stuff like that. Now when you submitted this report, uh, say for example you're submitting to someone who probably is not interested in what package you installed or you just want to get rid of all these things, uh, there are other commands that you can use to make sure things like these are not displayed because they're not really important. So if I come back in here and I say include equals to false and I click on neat HTML again. Now you find out that the loading of the packages is not displayed. And we just simply see here the summary of the US primary days, and that's the command, and this is what was executed. Let's run on that command. Let's um, create a, a graph, a simple graph. So if I say um, here is a simple um, plot, and I insert on that chunk, um, let's plot. Um, 
candidates. Let's see how many candidates we have. Or oh, well, no, by record, we just count that. So if I come in here and just do ggplots and pass in primary results, and I'm going to be passing in axis candidates. And let's just plot a bar chart. Now, every time I click on new HTML, it executes every command here. If you just want to test this command here, if I click on this button, you can see run the current chunk, which would execute just in the R Studio. And this is to run all previous chunks in the source. And this is to modify chunk options. So I'm just going to run this current code chunk. Click on that. And this is a plot um, of different candidates. And so what I can now do is if I now do need HTML. You should now see that plots are included in my document. Uh, say for example you now this is very small, the names are you know overlapping each other. Um, we want to make the width wider. What we can do is we can come here and say fig dot wheat and let's say it and if we click on need html that should make it a little bit bigger i believe so you can keep extending until you get desired results let's make this 10 now and we can see fig Height. You can set the height also and call it uh, say five. And if we click on need HTML again, now it should be much bigger. I'll just reduce that. Scroll down now. The names are becoming more visible, so you can uh, you know increase the width and the height of this as much as you please. Um, say for example, I want to do something else again. Oh, yeah, I think that is fine there. Okay, so now if, if you look at this, I click on this again. Say for example, I want to make um, my first Markdown document very big, you know, large. I want this a little bit bigger and things like that. What I can come do is come here, type in the ash space and that should make this um, capital letter very big uh, if I click on that so that's like an adding one in R markdown so now we can see this is much bigger my first R markdown document let's call let's make this also maybe adding of size 3 adding 3 okay if I come in here and I type in hash hash space, that means adding three. If I put hash hash that's three, adding that's not uh, that was adding two. This is adding three, adding four, and as many as you like. So I make this adding three. Uh, click on need HTML. And you can see this is smaller than the first one, which is adding one, and this is adding three. Say for example. We want to make this bold. I can just come in here. Bold means double star and double star. So you find this would show or display here is a and simple plot should be in bold. If I click on that, and now you find here is a simple plot uh, in bold, simple plot in bold because I made that bold by using the double star. Uh, there are other um, stuff you can use. Say, let's come in here and say we want to say here is how to create an italic. For italics, um, you just simply need one star. Right, put end, and if I click on it, HTML. And scroll to the bottom. Let's reduce this. 
I'll scroll to the bottom. It's it. This is in italics. Uh, now, um, all the things that can be done are um, you know, creating links, um, ellipses, and dash, underline. So for an underline statement, for example, my first R markdown, I want to underline that title. I simply just use three stars. One, two, three. Click on neat HTML and we should find uh, the title underlined. And if I scroll up, you can find our markdown document underlined there. Uh, other extracts that you might that might be useful to you. If I want a block quote, I can come in here, type in a greater sign and say, yeah, is a simple block quote in this report. Click on knit HTML. If I scroll down, I will let's reduce this window. Should use this window. And if I scroll scroll down, you should find that this is in a simple block quotes. Um so this is um uh, a quick introduction um, of how to use the R Macdown uh, package in R. Um, hope this has been useful. Uh, thank you and see you in the next lesson.